This video will demonstrate the principles of using M-Drummer to effectively and efficiently create a drum track to a song. It is important to watch our MIDI command method tutorial prior to this video, so you understand the principles of some of the methods used here. I'll start by briefly acquainting you with the track I'll be using. Get back y'all, out my face! I'm gonna spread your brains all over the place! I'm gonna kick through that door and make a scene! Hit your dog with a roll-up magazine, get back! You know I pity the fool, I wanna have to see you right back down to grammar school! Yeah, you know I'm hotter than hell, and I'm gonna vex you, gonna put you under my spell if you can't... To start, I'll create a new instrument track and select M Drummer 1 out. Hip hop is a good preset for this track. I'll also choose an adequate rhythm. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Yeah. I'm also going to insert an instance of M multiband limiter into the rack to make the drum track hotter from the offset. Get back, get back, y'all. Get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. The song starts with one bar of silence. I'll draw a MIDI clip here which can be the intro, followed by an 8 bar MIDI clip which I will use as the template for the rest. I'll draw a note on C-2 for the intro. On the second clip I'll draw 7 bars of groove and a 1 bar break. I'll now simply copy and paste the second clip along the arrangement and add a final MIDI clip for the outro. In Moolab, all clips need to be made into a unique sequence, otherwise edits will apply to all MIDI clips. I'll show how the verse sounds prior to editing. And after an increase of three semitones. With that in mind, I'll edit the remaining clips accordingly. An increase of 8 semitones for the first chorus. An increase of 6 semitones for the solo. An increase of 9 semitones for the second chorus. An increase of 4 semitones for the second verse. An increase of 10 semitones for the final chorus and bridge. And an increase of 10 semitones for the outro. I want to add some variation, so in the three chorus sections, I'm going to add a stop, half a bar in, and a break on bar 6. I'll add two stops in this final chorus, since it will work well with the vocal. Heading back to MDrummer's interface, I'll click on the additional button and deselect random loops, so I have full control over which loops MDrummer will play. 
Now, using the velocity control, I can choose which loops I want to use for this song. To conclude this demonstration, I will play the song through with the drum track. Thanks for watching. Next, in the M Drummer tutorial series, I will show you how the song tab can be used as an alternative method.